When you exercise faith, you overcome the devil, the flesh, and the world. Start saying, Christ is my righteousness. Christ is my holiness. Don't try. Trust. Pastor Prince, I got very bad habits. I can't help it. I feel all this emotion. Say, Christ is my holiness. Even in the midst of your anger and impatience, say, Christ is my holiness. Don't have to scream it. Just believe and speak it. Are you listening, church? You see, there are two kinds of righteousness. There's one kind by performance. In Romans 10, it says, Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Now, watch this. Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does those things shall live by them. In other words, there's a righteousness by the law based on what? Doing, performing. But the other righteousness which God, Christ came to give us, the righteousness of faith speaks. All right? It speaks what? It tells you you don't have to go up to heaven to bring Christ down at the, from the Father's right hand. You don't have to go back 2,000 years ago in a time machine to be where Christ was. Drop down all the way. What does it say? Verse 8, the word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Just speak what you believe in your heart. When fear comes, say, for God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. When the world says, you can't do it, say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Say it. Say it in spite of what you feel. Say it. It is first in your mouth. The word is near you in your mouth first, then in your heart. Even when you say it, you don't believe it in your heart, keep on saying it because as long as you put it in your mouth, it will go into your heart. And then it will come out in your mouth again. Amen. Are you learning, church? The devil is so afraid of you picking this up, of all the things that you learn. He doesn't want you to learn faith. He will tell you, learn holiness as much as you can, but it's performance holiness. And performance holiness, doing and speaking are antithesis. Give me the Galatians. Galatians says this, yet the law, the law is based on what? The man who does them, performs them. All right? You can say this, the law is not of faith. You can say, doing is not of faith. But the law says what? The man who does them, performs them, shall live by them. In other words, it's a, a life of performance. It's a life of working. It's a life of speaking. Hey, I'm not referring to your career. If any will not work, neither should he eat, okay? I'm talking about performing, all right? To get a miracle, performing. To get a blessing, performing. To get God's acceptance. God is saying, performance is not the righteousness I want. I want the speaking righteousness. I want you to believe and speak. And this is what God said to me last night. You can write this down. I'm telling you, I wrote it down in my, in my notebook. It's so precious. God says, all right, as long as you are doing or performing, as long as you are doing, the devil is winning. Then he said, as long as you are speaking, the devil is losing. I repeat, as long as you are doing, the devil is winning. As long as you are speaking, the devil is losing. That's why he will have you think, well, I've done so much, like the prodigal son's brother. I've done so much for you, Father. You, I never get anything good from you. Amen. He's focused on his doing. And yet God gives to the one who speaks faith. The woman with the issue of blood, she says, if I touch his clothes, I shall be well. She spoke it before she touched it. That's all is needed. Jesus turned and says, your faith made you well. Are you listening, church? The law is not of faith. It's antithesis. Listen, it's like these two hands. Speaking, doing. The more you do, the less you speak. This Old Testament. God's way is what? Speak, 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 more and more. Don't try to get a thing by performance. Speak it. I believe this week I'll be at the right place at the right time. Well, how do you know? I speak it. I know. Are you with me? God said something else to me yesterday. And this one is a parable. You can look at your life and the life around you, okay? It's illustrated everywhere. God said this to me. 
the higher you go up in rank, the more you speak and the less you do. Isn't it true? A CEO only have to speak, give directive, people do. Do you know who you are, child of God? You are seated on Jesus' throne. You are seated on Christ's throne. You are a king and a priest. From the, in the eyes of God, we have such small ambitions. We want to be a multi-millionaire. God says, give up your small ambitions. You want so much gold. We walk on gold in heaven. God's saying, I've called you to be a king. You are seated with Christ on his throne. Be careful what you say. So when we say to you, all right, partake of the communion, it's not just the communion per se. The pastor down here says, confess and all that. Yeah, okay, you know, I don't have to follow everything, you know, just take. It doesn't work. It doesn't work by osmosis. Just because you attend a good church, you know, zzz, any more than you going to McDonald's make you a Big Mac. doesn't happen that way. All right? You got to... You got to mix faith in your communion. When you take communion, all right, you got to say, Lord, I thank you your body was broken so that my body is healed. By your stripes, I'm healed. Thank you, Lord. My body is renewed. I'm young again. And that's why we young people, we shout when the message has been preached. We say, amen, hallelujah. We're not like some people like, <laughs> 30, 40 already. All right? We young people, Amen. We are full of life. Amen. And we'll be like this until Jesus comes. Hallelujah.